you know, me, me personally, I, you know, I, I tend to make a lot of excuses, you know, and uh, I've passed a lot of opportunities in my life mm -hmm. because I've always made excuses with certain things. But uh, what they mentioned really struck my heart about taking responsibility and find a way to get something done. Yeah. six today and I'm here with Joseph the video master but at least that's what I got you on my phone dude <laughs> so, um, no I appreciate you being here anybody who's wondering what Joseph does he actually uh, created my YouTube uh, intro for in for the kill and uh, dude I, I you delivered so well on it and we're actually gonna get a little bit further into details but um, you know for everybody who's listening this episode is meant to be a little bit different we're gonna go back and forth and discuss some things that me and Joseph um, actually just did we're working on projects you know what, what Joseph's all about so um, Joseph thank you for being here yeah man no problem dude thank you for having me here yeah I mean you're killing it right now dude with everything that you're doing we actually just got back from uh, that Grant Cardone thing the, the free event that mm -hmm. he just had in Anaheim. Yeah. Um, I was really surprised that he was there and that they were doing a free event because yeah. typically no matter what happens they always um, you know, ask for some sort of money <laughs> yeah, yeah. to these things, but yeah. Um, well, they were definitely selling stuff there, though. Yeah, they were. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that that show that we just went to, what was the the biggest takeaway that you had from it? Well, the biggest takeaway that I had uh, was basically, um, you know, me me personally, I you know I, I tend to make a lot of excuses, you know, and uh, I pass a lot of opportunities in my life. Mm -hmm. because I've always made excuses with certain things. But uh, what they mentioned really struck my heart about taking responsibility and find a way to get something done. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was one of the last speakers, right, that, that had mentioned that and he talked mm -hmm. about how his dad died um, yeah. and that he basically kind of uh, linked himself. Uh, right, right. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear the part. I, I, I understood kind of what he was saying, but he said that when he was young, he told he thought that he could have told his dad not to take the extra load. Um, yeah. Did, what, what was it that he was saying? Like, I didn't yeah, I believe that you know his dad was. Well, first he said that his dad was the hardest worker that he had ever known, uh -huh. and basically, you know, his dad was taking an extra load uh, of work so that he can pay for the vacation to fly out to Hawaii. And, yeah, that's right. That he wanted to go to. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And. Um, so what happened with his dad? How did he die? So, um, from what I've understood was that, you know, his dad went into, he was driving the truck and he went into a storm and he basically just died in his truck. And, Dang, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and um, he was, he, it was, I mean, that that's, for me, everybody knows like, it's, it's a little bit tougher with these mm -hmm. things because it's like you can relate to like not having, actually you didn't, you grew up without a dad too. Yeah, yeah that's right. But, um, I mean, for us, we grew up without dads, but imagine thinking like, oh man, I killed my father. Yeah. And he was seven years old and that's what he was thinking. Like he was thinking yeah. the whole time, like holy crap, I killed my father. But yeah, um, he, he's super successful. I mean, he said like, you know, he was from Canada and everything. But yeah, it was, it was just crazy that he is able to get where he went to, you know, exactly. but he took ownership of that. Yeah. Eventually yeah. he had to. Yeah. You know? So, um, but yeah, that was crazy. This was your first event though that you went It was to. my first event, man. I'm so glad I went. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what did you feel going to there? I mean, you had a takeaway of like knowledge and experience, but what do you think about going to conferences now? I see, like before, I would think like, oh, it's just a conference. It's just, you know, they're trying to, like you said, you know, they're going to try to sell you stuff and you're going to waste a lot of money and a lot of time. And, and at the end of the day, they really are. They are going to try to sell you stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, they still do. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but besides that, like, what do you think of, I mean, you said that that's what you thought of before, what do you think of it now? Yeah. So now I think that, you know, my mindset's completely different. Yeah. I feel like it's a great place to be. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like it was the right place to be in today because yeah. I walked out, out of there with a different mindset. And, and what uh, was that mindset? And the mindset is now to just, you know, go out there and give it 100% and dedicate myself 
into do, doing what I, and the event was a real estate event, but it, I still took away a lot. Like I can imply that into my business that I want to do now. Yeah. And you know, it's like, you know, I'm so happy and thankful that I went there. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny because um, me, me and you again, we were talking about mm -hmm. this, but I, I see real estate uh, the same way that I see it, like you're trying to start a business, right? right, they, right. They, they went so much into like, if, if you're gonna do something in real yeah. estate, go ahead and take all the money that you have in the bank because mm -hmm. the money in the bank is worthless, really. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Banks aren't gonna do anything with your money except mm -hmm. like they actually use it or they won't give you any type of like return or, or oh, yeah. like, interest like mm -hmm. that actually benefits you. So get that money and put it right into real estate because all you're doing is if you have $3,000 that you're holding in the bank and you have $3,000 that you put into real estate, you're holding that money one way or another, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you have a business, like I know you're starting a business and, and I have my business and everything. Right, right. Um, whether you get that 3000 and put it into real estate or you get that 3000 and put it into your business, you're gonna get that money back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're gonna get customers or you're gonna get equity in the real estate as it grows more, right? Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't matter where, where you put your money, it just matters that you don't let the money sit in the bank. Exactly. You know? Yeah, and that was another important lesson that, you know, I had really not thought about because most people nowadays, they want to save their money. Yeah. And, you know, I was, you know, before I went into the event, that was my mindset. Like, we got to save money, we got to yeah. save money, you know? Well, I mean, that was more, more or less back then, but lately, like, mm -hmm. dude, you've been you've been investing in your in your business like crazy. Mm -hmm. um, we just had the event last time, right, where you forgot like a, a memory card and you're like, oh, well, I'm here, let me just buy a second camera. Yeah. <laughs> and so you, you obviously take it very, very serious mm -hmm. that the, the money that you have, it's not just gonna die. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You're gonna invest it. And I, I really do admire that about you because people Thank take you. so long to mm -hmm. make decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For and sure. I really wasn't expecting you you're just like, I'm gonna buy another camera. All right. <laughs> you, yeah. you do you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you wanna buy another camera, I'm not gonna, I never tell anybody otherwise if they're looking to invest in themselves. You know, like if you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna spend all this money on myself, and to, by all means, go for it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but you learn. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, I feel like it's, like you said, it's very important. And, uh, you know, it's it basically shows you that, you know, the work that you're doing, um, it's more of a like you get into uh you get kind of appreciated a little bit more because you know you're you can see it as a way of paying yourself exactly but in reality it's for the business then exactly. you want it to grow absolutely yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. um and since you started kind of like on this journey of like bettering yourself or mm -hmm. like kind of putting all this like investment into your business into yourself yeah what's yeah. been the biggest eye-opener that you've had since you started this journey so the biggest eye-opener is probably uh, the fact that it's not as easy as it looks yeah. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of dedication a lot of work um, and a lot of persistence mm -hmm. and then finally being humble to uh, you know to realize and this is a great advice that you gave me to actually find a mentor and uh, you know find somebody that loves or is doing the exact same thing that I'm doing mm -hmm. but it's just a master at it so what I'm trying to work on is uh, to basically associate myself with uh, people that know how to make great videos and I'm yeah. learning everything that I can um, from them. But I want to implement my own stuff into those videos. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I had another question for you, which is, uh, you know, when we grow up, we get all this information from our parents. Yeah, yeah. And again, you, you start this journey, you start realizing that not all the information that you had growing up has been correct. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah sure. and, and it's not even so much like our parents' fault. It, mm -hmm. it can also be the fact that they just didn't know society. Yeah, you, you know they, mm -hmm. they grew up a certain way. So, what what do you think has been the biggest, not the biggest, but like the like the wrong information that you had? Like growing up, they mm -hmm. must have given you something that they drilled into your brain. Yeah. What was the most incorrect piece of information you had? Uh, the most incorrect information. It's a loaded question. No. Yeah, it's. Uh, I would have to say is the probably, um, you know, going to school and saving your money. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times when you're little, you know, your parents tell you you have to you have to go to college or you know you have to save your money because if not you're always going to be broke. But I feel now, you know, as I get older yeah. and start my own business, I feel like if I just you know, dedicate my time into learning the correct way mm -hmm. and 
you know, like it's it's basically different for everybody. But I feel like you know now, you know where I'm at right now. I want to, you know, um, make the right choices and kind of just you know pass it down to my daughter, pass it down to people who love me. Yeah, yeah. And and since you started your business, like, what has your family said about it? Um, has everyone been supportive? Has some people thought that like because you actually mm -hmm. um, I I know this obviously, but you quit your job. Yeah, yeah, I did. What did everybody think when you when you did that? Um, well, my wife was you know she basically wanted you know like she got freaked out, she got scared, and you know it was like more of a how do you say it? Like she was shocked, um, she was like surprised, but she was also very very supportive, and you know. Everybody else was like, dude, like, why'd you quit your job? You know, my, my friend that, that I was working with, actually, you know, he, you know, he gave me a call. He said, hey, man, is everything okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, everything's good, you know? Yeah. But just because I did it at a, at a random time, it was, like, surprising for everybody. Yeah. But, but, but it's funny. A lot of the people that were freaking out for you, mm -hmm. were they people that have their own businesses? Um, some of them do and some of them don't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like for example, my my father-in-law, he has his own business, yeah, and he's a CEO of the company, but his mindset is, you know, like, hey, you have to work, you have to keep working, to support your family, and even if you don't like your job, you gotta keep doing it no matter what. Yeah, you know. So and, your your dreams come after the patient. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and uh, you know. That that's that's a rough one. Um, mm -hmm. Can you get a little closer to the mic? Yeah. yeah, no, that 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 really is a rough one because. Um, that really is old world thinking. Yeah, yeah. People tell you that you need to get a steady paycheck before you actually exactly. go after your dreams. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how long is that going to actually stop you from where you want to be? Yeah. Because the reality is that it could be 10 years before you actually have a really steady paycheck. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So, I, I mean, I've never understood it either. But again, it goes back to you only know what you know. Exactly, yeah. You know, old world thinking was you, you get a steady job, mm -hmm. then you turn 60 and then you retire. Exactly, yeah. And your retirement just isn't what it was. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's what I see uh, nowadays. And especially um, my sister, she's actually, she started her own business. Mm -hmm. And she's, you know, she's working a job right now. But she took the initiative to actually start her own business. Yeah. And that's what kind of motivated me. Like, I was thinking, like, if my sister can do it. So can I. Yeah. You Shout know. out to Joseph's sister right now. Yeah. What does she do? She uh, owns her own candle business. Okay. It's a lively candle or living lively candles dot com. Okay. Yeah. If anybody likes candles. Yeah. Be okay. sure to check her out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. But um, no, that, that's cool. Yeah, you, and you always draw from inspiration of, of other people, um, and even just going back a little bit to the event mm -hmm. when you're in that environment. Mm -hmm of all those people yeah. that are doing these things and you're like, man, it's it's not just me. There's all these people and I know that I can keep up with them. I know I can compete. I know I can even do better. Exactly. There's yeah. that there's that like encouragement. And right. and that's that's I I really started going to events. Um what was it, July? Yeah. yeah. July was my first one. Wow. And when I realized that that's what events were, mm -hmm. you you don't even have to talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did, <laughs> but the first two hours, I really was kind of on my own, just, you know, hearing the, the speakers come out, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, there's, there's literally all these people here, most of them have businesses, Yeah, yeah. most of them are actually taking risk, right, right. and you're like, man, I want to take, I can take risk, Yeah. For I sure. can definitely take risk, why am I not taking risk, yeah. so, so for you, you felt like that was the, like the, um, the turning point, like when you, because I know you, you know, you started the podcast, you know, this is episode five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the truth is, and, and I, see, I, I like calling out some people, but the, the, I'm not, I'm not doing this just to call them out and yeah, that yeah. he like sees me and everything. But yeah. I, I honestly started because of Casey Adams. Oh, wow. Um, this guy's 19 years old. Yeah. And he was at the event with some of the biggest names. Wow. Yeah. And he started when he was, I think, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, you know how hard it is for me to say that I look up to a 19 year old, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no. <laughs> but the guy's killing it, you know? Um, there's there's no shame in saying like, man, I really really admire this guy, right, right, because yeah. of the drive and because of what he's doing. And that's, I mean, Alexander the Great. Yeah. Yeah, he died at 32, but from I, well, I don't know what it was, 
was like 19 and 32, the guy killed it in yeah. conquering the, the world back then. Right, right. So it doesn't matter your age, it just matters what you're doing. Age is nothing but, but a number. <laughs> yeah. So, sure. um, but yeah, no, so now you, you have your company. Mm -hmm. And what's specifically awesome about what you do mm -hmm. is you've been dedicating yourself to drones. Yes, yeah. And you you are an entrepreneur, like in, in everything that you're doing. So you're following kind of this whole thing of like having a different mindset, being mm -hmm. part of the one percent. Yeah. Um, you know, making the changes, going to these events, doing everything. Mm -hmm. But why did you decide to go with the drone thing? I mean, you could have gone with a different editing stuff. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to go with the drone thing? So I originally wanted to be um, a drone pilot. Yeah. Because when I was little. Um, I always wanted to get the sensation of flying. I would always have dreams of you know what it was like to to fly. Mm -hmm. You know, and I when I um, when I flew out to Hawaii for the first time, I was like twenty two. It was my first time being in an airplane. I had never experienced flying before. Um, so I feel like me being a drone pilot, it kind of allows me to experience that sensation. Yeah. You know, of being able to you know see the world from a different height from a different view. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I really, from the bottom of my heart, believe that you are just fantastic at it. Thanks, I mean, man. I, I, I really appreciate it. it. <laughs> it's like, I, I feel that a lot of people could be good at it, mm -hmm. but you have a vision. Like, you almost have eyes through the drone, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I don't know if that's kind of how you see it, too. But Yeah, for sure. When, when I see the videos that you make and, like, the vision that you have, mm -hmm. it almost seems like you've been doing Hollywood movies for, like, 15 years. <laughs> You know, yeah. and, and the video that you gave me, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting it. Like, that's, that's how, you know, I feel. I'm like, man, dude, this guy's like, he almost made me look like I'm some guy from Hollywood. <laughs> and uh, so, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I, I feel that you are advanced mm -hmm. for what you do. Yeah. yeah. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate it, you know, and I, I would like you to think that. Yeah. Because, you know, what I, my biggest thing is I want to create a story. When I'm flying the drone, I want to, you know, capture a moment and create something that not anybody can create. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that's what separates me from most, you know, people that fly drones. You're, you're not just making a video, you're creating a story. Exactly. I want to create a story. Yeah, and, that, that's yeah. what branding is, man. Mm -hmm. It's just telling people your story, you know. And, and that's what people want. Yeah. Nobody wants a video. I mean, when you look at wedding, nobody just wants a video. They want to tell this magical story yeah. about Mary. You know? Yes, exactly. And when you play back that video, that that's what I got for, for my wedding video. Yeah. It's this beautiful video of like how love me and my wife are, and if if anything ever happens to me or her, you know that's the way we want to be remembered. Wow. So yeah. with you, I definitely think that that's what you're giving people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. And like you said, you know, for you, it's your wedding video, mm -hmm. and that's like something you definitely want to remember but it, it could be anything you know what mm -hmm. I mean it doesn't have to be the wedding video for you you're you created this image for me you, mm -hmm. you told the story yeah um, I told you I wanted to sell in California yeah yeah and I mean you guys tell me did, did he give me sell in California or not <laughs> you know because I, I really think that when you look at that video it's 23 seconds long is what we decided on right yeah yeah because we did that too in 23 seconds, mm -hmm. you can tell it was Southern California. It doesn't look like Miami. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look like the Gulf of, of uh, Texas. It doesn't look like Mexico. Right, right, right. It looks like Southern California. I love that about it. Yeah, man. Thank you. So, <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. All day long. Now, with drones, mm -hmm. what's the favorite, uh, like, shot? I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but yeah. it's the right shot. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite one? What do you love doing? Oh, man. Well, I love... You know, just flying it uh, all around. You know, there's uh, two favorite shots that I personally like. Mm -hmm. um, but my two, I'll say my two favorite shots is uh, the introduction shot and the helix shot. No, no, but tell me, tell me what's your favorite one. I want to know. My favorite, favorite one, man. I'm, I'm going to have to go with the fly through shot. Okay, yeah. and what's that one? The fly through shot is basically when you're flying in between two, two objects or two persons. And that's probably the most hardest shot that you can do as a drone I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you uh, <laughs> make that shot, and I'm yeah. gonna put it in the YouTube video. Oh man, for sure. sure. That way people can see. Yeah. Um, what can you do with that shot for people? Oh man. Tell me, tell me specific like industries. Like, what would that shot be great for that you would just be like, wow? 
Oh, dude, for, well, I would say, like, for, for a movie, for a cinematic, like, an action movie, mm -hmm. you know, like, if there's, like, you know, in this case, like, two superheroes, and they're looking at each other, you know, one's Batman, the other one's Joker, mm -hmm. and if you do, like, a fly-through shot with the drone right there, it's just, it makes it so cinematic. Yeah. Well, that would be cool, but what about, um, what about something that's, like, more everyday, you know, because not everybody's in movies, like, could you do something to, like... Oh yeah, totally. People or yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I can make somebody look like a, a movie star, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's my goal. I want to make somebody feel, you know, like they're in a movie. So you're gonna want people more than anything for this type of shot. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Okay. Yeah. And what's what's your goal of like? What's the dream behind all this? Like, do you want to blow up the company? Do you want to get your name known? Yeah, definitely. Where do you want to go from here? Yeah. So I want to, you know. I want to expand the company. Mm -hmm. I want to get recognition, and eventually, I want to work with Hollywood producers. And yeah. I want my my drone shots to be featured in movies. Yeah, like how you see, you know, when they do the movie, the movie shots of like the Golden Gate Bridge or you know things like that. That's I want to be that guy. Yeah. You know, so, is there a specific movie that you're like, like, man, I wish I would have done that movie. I wish I would have <laughs> been part of that project. Oh man, there's there's so many good movies, but uh, uh, honestly, I haven't seen like I haven't. I think a fun one for you would have been something like uh, Transformers. Oh, dude, With, Transformers. Like, Bay, you know, because like, he's always yeah. blowing stuff up. It doesn't it doesn't matter what it is. He yeah. he, he sees something, and he's like, you know what, the script, let's blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he's uh, he's a very talented uh, producer. Hopefully one day I get a chance to work with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any projects that you're working on right now that you're like super excited about? You were telling me something about like a basketball, mm -hmm. something that you just did recent. Oh yeah, there's this video that I made uh, for this basketball player. Um, I actually met him at, at a 24 hour fitness gym, mm -hmm. and uh, he's trying to go play professional overseas. And um, you know he has a lot of he's very talented, but he came up to me and you know he asked me if I could take pictures of him, right? And I tell him, hey man, why don't we just do a video? Yeah. And he's like, a video? And I was like, yeah, dude, let's just do a video. And, you know, this all happened in the span of one day. And uh, we made the video and he really liked it. He put it on his Instagram and he got a lot of positive feedback, so. And why do you think that, because he asked you for pictures, mm -hmm. right? And pictures obviously do very good in, in trying right, right. to communicate what you're doing in Instagram. Mm -hmm. That's what, how it started and that's really still the, the majority of what's going on there but why do you think video is so much more uh important and like catches people's attention more than like a picture no matter how good the picture is why do you think video is just that much better yeah no that's a great question so i feel like with video you can capture more moments you can capture a story and most importantly it's something that like you know you don't see uh, music added into pictures you know it's just a picture and it's like a frozen moment which is awesome but with the video, there's more emotion to it, you know? And then if you make a video with, with drone shots, mm -hmm. it's like, wow, you know, that's what I feel like people are liking nowadays. Yeah, you're yeah. able to you're able to capture more of the world exactly. before where you, you kind of do this and you capture yourself. So, or yeah. I get my phone, yeah, I get my phone yeah. to you and you capture me. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we were kind of like on this level playing field where mm -hmm. we're all you know, on earth yeah, but yeah. with the drone, mm -hmm. now you have different dimensions. Yeah. You yeah. know, that you're able to, you do have three D whereas before you were kind of two D. Exactly. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. I feel like that with pictures, mm -hmm. when you when you take a picture you leave it up to the person's imagination what they want to think happened there. Yeah. But yeah. when you have a video you tell them exactly what you you're want. You're the to one think. that's telling the story exactly yeah exactly yeah um i kind of wanted to, to touch up more of that that you know this guy that's trying to be a professional mm -hmm. basketball player how yeah. do you meet this guy so we were playing at the gym uh -huh. um you know i played uh you know recreation of basketball at 24 hour fitness yeah and you know one day uh, after we you know playing five on five um i saw that he was you know really good and me yeah, i'm a competitive person mm -hmm. so i challenge everyone you know that i think is good or better than me. Yeah. So I asked him, hey man, you wanna play one on one? And we ended up playing and you know, even though he beat me, I still like felt like wow I had to go out and, and work out and find a way to beat this guy. Yeah. And uh, long story short we became good friends and uh, you know I I see his work ethic that he has. You know, he's chasing his dreams of becoming a professional basketball player 
and I feel like he's gonna do whatever it takes for him to reach that point. Yeah. And I feel like it's just like, wow, you know, I learned a lot from that. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of want to end more or less on this note, which mm-hmm. is even if, even though it was at a gym, mm-hmm. you were still networking. Yeah. And you could have yeah. let it go and you could have let it been like, oh, you know, I don't want to talk to this guy. Or, yeah. You know, yeah. It, just, just cut it clean. Right, right, right. right. But instead you decided to, to talk to him and, and follow up with him. And, Mm-hmm. Um, you did end up getting some business because of it. You yeah, know, you, you got some publicity and everything. Mm-hmm. And networking is just so important to, uh, yeah. to who it is. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, I do want to tell this story uh, <laughs> about. Yeah. So uh, I decided that I wanted a video. Right. And this is kind of our story, how we kind of connected again. Yeah. I, I decided that I wanted a video, and I decided that I was going to talk to you because two months prior to that, you told me you were working a sales job, but you really wanted to do video. I didn't even remember the drum. Okay, mm. to be honest, mm. but uh, I was like, I want a video. I want a video. I don't have, you know, a, a lot of a lot of money, but I have this vision and I have this dream. And I couldn't figure out who I knew, but I was like, I gotta know somebody. At this point, I gotta know somebody. Yeah. And I fell asleep on Thursday night in Houston, and on Friday morning, it was uh, six in the morning, mm-hmm. you know, Central Time, four a.m. my time. I wake up, and the first thing I think is. Joseph De La Cruz told me that he does video. <laughs> That's I, I, I like I woke up and I was like, I, this guy told I, I just remembered who it was, Dang. right? Yeah. So I texted you thirty minutes later. Yeah. Or I sent you an Instagram, you know, because that obviously you would have thought I was crazy if I was texting you at four thirty in the morning. But uh, so I sent you <laughs> an Instagram thing, and I tell you I want a video. Right. Right. And you're like, what are you thinking? And you were motivated at the time too because you were, Man, you were trying I was, to get some when, stuff, you, right? when I got that text message, or um, I was super excited. I was like so happy. Cause I was like, wow, you know, this guy's, you know, like he's giving me a chance, you know, to yeah. to make a video for him. Yeah, that, that's yeah. all I was missing, man. All, I, I knew that I um, I had the, the dream and everything, but mm-hmm. I just needed somebody who could tell it in high quality. Yeah, yeah, you know what sure, I mean. Somebody sure. like that could that could represent what was in my head mm-hmm. in video and do it HD. Yeah. So I messaged you on Friday. Yeah. We met on Monday, which was a Memorial Day. Oh yeah, that's right. right. And you gave me the video by Wednesday. By oh, Wednesday, yeah. And that's delivering, dude. Yeah. That that's dedication right there. That's motivation. That's somebody wants something and needs something, and you deliver it for them. Mm-hmm. That that's something. You see, most people think that. People are gonna give you money, yeah, because of a service, mm-hmm. right? Oh, okay, well I do video, right. but people are gonna give you money, and they're not gonna fight you for it, mm-hmm. and they're gonna give you exactly what you want, right? Based on the fact that you can deliver, okay, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. 100%. Sometimes it doesn't even matter if the video is great. If they need it in a day and you give it to them in a year, it doesn't matter how good of a person you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. see. You can deliver. You gave me exactly what I wanted. That's a knockout combination. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's see. You deliver. We we shot. You gave it to me in two days, Mm -hmm. and you gave me exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And not only that, you gave me two different options. Yeah. And And the one you actually liked, the one that I didn't like. (laughs) Yeah. But but the one that we ended up going with. Yeah. Um, I mean, dude, that that's it was killer. I appreciate that. We can we can talk all day about this but it was it you make good videos man. Yeah. like at the end Excellent. of the day that's what this conversation comes down to is you make great videos yeah yeah definitely man like i like you said you know it was i put myself in your shoes and i you know for a second i was like okay if i was ruben you know i was trying to figure out what you know what is it that you were gonna like mm-hmm. and obviously the video you know was um it was important but i wanted to get it to you in your hands as soon as possible because I felt like, you know, you really wanted to get going and move on to the next step, which was, you know, advertising it and, and all that. Yeah. So that's why I took it, you know, very serious and I delivered it to you. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I did, man. I needed it. Um, you know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people that, that are listening um, know exactly really, really how I am, but uh, I get stressed out quite a bit with a lot of these things. And I knew yeah. that I had all these videos that I had just recorded, but I had no introduction. Yeah, yeah, and and that's something that's so crucial. Like, yes, you should get started, and yes, you should put out content and everything. But there's almost like certain rules to doing it, right? Right. So right. like, you can put out content, you can start an Instagram and everything, but it's like if you can't 
put the video the right way or if you don't have an introduction if uh if you don't have the right person editing it, mm -hmm. it just pay the money find the person you know like yeah. do it right mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's not perfect but do it right exactly you know yeah if you're trying to sell someone mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're like afraid or not mm -hmm. but do care about the person that's that's the the basics right you know yeah so uh but no, man, that's, uh, we're, we're pretty much at the 30-minute mark. Is there anything else you want to talk about or say before we kind of close this up? Oh, man. Um, I did want to ask you a question, man. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so um, you did tell me that you were going to, you were planning on moving to Arizona. Yeah. So uh, I just, you know, I wanted to know what was the reason for that. All right, well, I'll keep this short because we can talk <laughs> about this for a while. But All right. um, my money uh, does not extend far enough in California, okay. right? And it's a very simple calculation that I did, mm -hmm. and it's about five hundred dollars more a month, okay. and that's just on on rent. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, for sure. So when I realized that it was five hundred dollars more a month after taxes, mm -hmm. that's six thousand dollars more in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, right. When I look at California, all I see is weather and um, uh, what's it called? So the weather and the beach. Yeah, right. Yeah. So realistically, it was my ego that was keeping me here that said. I can't support any other type of weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like the beach so much. Right, right. That I'm willing to kind of take five hundred dollars out of my family's pocket or five hundred dollars more a month that I could be using to help, you know, extended family or people yeah. that I actually you know, just things that I could do to help other people. Yeah. That made me think like I'm I'm being selfish. Okay. I'm being selfish by staying here because I, I talked this big game about trying to help people. But if I'm willing to stay here for an extra, you know, five hundred dollars, six thousand a year, mm -hmm. yeah, it just it didn't sit right with me after a while. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was that was pretty much it. Wow, man. Yeah. That's that's very unselfish and very thoughtful, you know, because you're thinking about, you know, the long run. And yeah, I mean, that's that's the idea, right? Yeah. That's the idea of. Um, yeah, you put me on spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah. Um, Thanks for asking that. Um, I am I'm going to be moving. It's actually next month. So, wow. um, but I I do appreciate um, I'm you with taking you, the time to talk. You're, you're still going to be based out of California. So yeah, for sure. If anybody needs Joseph, if anybody needs a videographer, uh, feel free to contact him or me. We're actually working together on projects. So if you need like marketing, a full marketing thing mm -hmm. and, and branding, then we work on it together. Yeah. If you just need a video done, um, feel free to call Joseph. Yeah, and sure. um, I guarantee you guys, he will deliver. <laughs> You're obsessive. Yeah. Um, and the thing is that like you have this vision that I think that nobody really else has. So Thank you, man. I yeah. really appreciate you. Do you want to shout out anyone? I want to shout out my, uh, my little brother. Okay. <laughs> his, uh, his Instagram. Name? Oh, his name is Danny. Danny okay. Gonzalez. And he has his... Uh, um, at freezing seconds on Instagram. Okay. He's a great photographer, so he does photography and you know, and uh, I shout out my sister. Already, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's been uh, episode six. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Yep. Leave us uh, some feedback. Let us know what you think, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you next week. All right.